Sagittarius season, hyper-focused on going for what you love, teaches us to um, open up to new things and new people. So November 22nd to December 21st, and this is your December placement. Welcome, Aquarius. Thank you. We're going to work your energy and work your zodiac house. If you were born at the beginning of Aquarius, you're going to be in December. You're going to be going into 11th zodiac house. You're going to be in a place of uh, living on the edge with friendship, group activities, community, humanitarianism, hope, tribe, festivals, discoveries of common goals, startups, rebellion. So we either start it up or we rebel, right? And it's all about the future. This is going to be a very experimental uh, time of rationale. It's a unique, liberal, electric, group-oriented, uh, again, humanitarianism. We can have a free radical, very eccentric, uh, diverse, futuristic, very edgy. Even somebody might even be detached. So get ready for that coming in. And then for those of you who are Aquarius, born later in your sign, you're going to be going into 10th Zodiac House in December 2022, which every year you go into 10th in December, in a place of your reputation, dealing with your career, your responsibilities, and your achievements. It's about competence, fame, notoriety, right? Uh, standing as an authority figure in your legacy, uh, we're hoping it's about your purpose, being a pentacle, all about everything strengthening out in public. Uh, very serious and authoritative energy here of ambition, being realistic and structured, very traditional and wise, enduring and accomplished, very majestic and competent, prepared and down to earth, rigid and disciplined. It's going to be what we have coming in for you in December. And so then the twist, not only that, you also get your planets, maybe the gifts that we've come here to receive, like something we need to learn. Maybe it's something that we need to teach other people. For those of you going into 11, we have Uranus. Breakthrough of, wow, insight, awakening. A lot of humanitarianism. Reform. There might be surprise and freedom experimentation, and the unexpected. This is a very rapture, edgy, diverse, electric in 11th. For those of you who are going in 10th, you're going to deal with Saturn. Discipline, structure, time, responsibility, passing the tests, testing other people. Very ambitious, again, but difficulty um, because it's about restraint, and grounding and practicality and being self-controlled. Um, something about tradition and realism and putting a lid on it. That's how I say it. Putting a lid on it. Something. We'll need to have it put the lid on it. But what's fun was we can look back, say the end of October. We were all in, you know, we've all kind of been there already. Both of you all of the Aquarius. So if any of this resonates, kind of cool. Like we were in our ninth house of seeking, uh, seeking adventure, foreign travel, right? Maybe a little bit of risk taking and little pilgrimages here and there and very enthusiastic and philosophical, independent, generous, ethical, seeking, happy-go-lucky energy. Again, it's just an honest, bareback, very unbridled kind of energy there for us. Uh, boundless, Lucky, tactless, somebody traveling and risk-taking, but somewhat self-righteous. If any of that resonated, that's kind of cool. We were all there. Coming up, we're going to be in Sagittarius season. So again, very hyper-focused on going for what you love. Kind of the thing until the end of December. So good luck in your situation, everybody. And until next time, Shalom.